DSR or daily sales report is used to maintain or track daily, weekly, monthly and yearly sales. Even DSR can be used as a tool through which we can analyze data and can take steps to grow sales and transactions. In today's video, we will see how we can create a fully automated dynamic DSR along with dashboard. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a daily sales report which I have created in advance. This sales report will include dine-in, takeaway and delivery sales along with tickets and APC or APT. When we will come to the right hand side, here will be consolidated sales. On extreme left hand side, we have got a dashboard from where we can see performance summary for the whole month. In dashboard, we have got month, year, start date, end date, total days, total weekends means total Saturday and Sunday, highest sale for the particular day in the month, lowest sale for the particular day in the month. If target will be achieved, it will be showing yes and will be highlighted in green. If the sales target will not be achieved, it will be showing no and will be highlighted in red. Sales target till date, average sales, dine-in sales, takeaway sales and delivery sales. And after that, total sales, last year sales and growth. Means over here we will compare last year sales with current sales. If the current sales will be more than last year sales, it will be showing in green and if it will be less, it will be showing in red. We have got total 14 worksheets in which 12 are for months. One is consolidated means the last sheet will be consolidated and the first one will be home tab. From home tab, we can jump to any worksheet as per our requirement. In case I want to check the sales of October, I'll have to click on October and I'll be diverted to October sheet. To get back to home sheet, we will have to click over here on home and we are on first sheet now. In case I want to check the sales of consolidated sheet, I'll have to click over here and we are on consolidated sheet or consolidated sales report. Let's start creating a new sheet now. I have opened a new worksheet. We will start from here, G3. This will be our serial number. I'll type one and we'll drag it till 31st or 31. We will select from B2 till E. We will highlight this. This will be for our dashboard. We will click on C3 and over here we will type month. We will select this and we'll change the font color. We'll make it bold. We will select the whole sheet and we'll change the font style. Month. After that, we will type year, start date, end date, total days, total Saturday, total Sunday. Highest sale for the day. We will select two rows and we'll merge it. We'll make the column size bigger and we'll wrap the text. Over here, we will type lowest sale for the day. We will select two rows and we'll merge it. We'll wrap the text. Target achieved. Sales till date. Average sales. Dine-in sales. Takeaway sales. Delivery sales. Total sales. Last year sales. Growth. In case you want to include last year tickets or transactions, you can do it. Now I'll click on the top and we'll take all the things in extreme left. We'll make this smaller. We'll select this and we'll give it a border. We'll give thick border. We'll make the column size bigger and we'll give borders. We'll merge this and we'll give it a border. We'll make this smaller. We'll change color of month, year, start date and end date. We'll change the font color. We'll make this bigger. We'll select from B till E and we'll merge it. And over here we will type dashboard. We'll take this in mid and we'll increase the font size. We'll change the font style. We'll take this in right side. We will go in insert and we will insert a shape over here. We'll double click on the shape and we'll type home. We'll go to home. We'll take this in center and in mid. We'll increase the font size and we'll change the font style. 
we'll change the font color we'll right click on the shape we'll go to format shape we'll go in center and we'll give it a shadow we'll give shadow to text also we will resize this and we'll place it over here we'll make the font smaller we'll make this bigger we'll change the background of the shape we'll take this little bit closer now we will start creating the report format so here is the serial number after that date day dine in sales dine in tickets apc or apt apc is average per check and apt is average per ticket we will copy this and we'll paste over here we'll manage the sale size this will be takeaway sales takeaway tickets we will copy this control c control v this will be our delivery sales delivery tickets we will manage the sale size now we will select this and we'll create borders we will select this and we'll merge it together we'll put a color over here and we'll change the font color daily sales report bracket open dine in take away delivery bracket close we will increase the font size we'll make it bold we will select the heads and we'll take this in center we will change color of all the channels to differentiate it we will change color of this also we will rectify the spelling of take we will come to the right hand side this will be target sales total sales total tickets apc slash apt target versus achieved means target sales versus achieved sales and over here percentage we'll manage the sales size we'll select this and we'll take all the things in center and in mid we'll select the sales on the top and we'll merge it together we'll put a color over here this will be consolidated we'll increase the font size we'll change the font style we'll select this and we'll give it a border now we will select all the heads and we'll change the color we'll manage the cell size we'll select this and we'll give it a border we'll come to right hand side we'll select consolidated and we'll change the color we'll give it some light color we'll change the font color we'll take this in left we'll go to view show and we'll remove the grid lines so our blank format is ready now we will click over here we'll go to data data validation from the drop down we will select list and in source we will type name of all the months from jan to december and we'll do okay so our drop down got created we will select jan we'll take this in center in the same way we will create drop down for year also we'll go in data data validation list and from here we will type our years and we'll do okay so the drop down list for year got created we will select 2023 we'll take this in center start date the formula for start date will be plus or equal to date value bracket open double inverted comma 1 double inverted comma close and we will select the month and we will select the year we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll take this in center we'll right click the mouse we'll go to format cells we'll go to date format and we'll select a desired format okay end date the formula for end date will be plus or equal to eo month bracket open start date comma zero bracket close and we will hit enter we'll take this in center we'll right click the mouse format cells 
date and we'll select a desired date format okay now whenever we will change the month start date and end date will change automatically feb so here first feb 28th feb march first march and 31st march we will keep it jan now we will insert formula over here date we will insert first date over here plus or equal to we will select start date and we'll hit enter we'll take this in left side formula for second date will be totally different plus or equal to if bracket open start date is smaller than end date we will press function f4 and dollars will be inserted means cell will be logged comma start date plus 1 comma double inverted comma e o m double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter we'll select this We'll right click the mouse format cells date and we'll select a desired date format okay so what's the logic behind inserting eom the months in which the days will be less than 31 it will be showing eom suppose the last date of february is 28th so after 28th it will be showing eom means end of the month now we will click on the second date and we'll drag it till 31st we got our dates over here. It's showing till 31st Jan. When I'll change the month, I'll do it February. So after 28th of February, it's showing EOM. When it will be leap year, after 29th, it will be showing EOM, means end of the month. We will do it 23 and month as January. Formula for day will be plus or equal to text bracket open we will select the date comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter now we will drag this till end we will keep it selected we will go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules equal to over here we will type saturday we will leave the red color as selected and we will do ok so all the saturdays got highlighted in red we will go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule equal to this time we will type Sunday we'll click on the drop down and we'll select green color okay so Saturdays got highlighted in red and Sundays got highlighted in green whenever the month will change the highlights will change automatically it got changed before inserting the formulas we will take the figures from our example sheet so I have taken all the figures from my example sheet and all the figures are random. Now we will insert formula for APC or APT and the formula will be plus or equal to sales divided by tickets and we'll hit enter. We'll take this in center and we'll drag till end. We'll remove the decimals. We'll leave this selected. We'll copy this control C or command C and we'll paste it over here. So formula got inserted, we'll paste in delivery also. So all the formulas got inserted. Let's delete some sales figure from here. You will notice one thing, if the sales are blank, it's showing some error. So to remove this error, we will insert a formula, we'll undo this, we'll go to the formula, we'll click behind the formula and we'll insert criteria of if, if bracket open sales is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma twice comma we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this till end i'll delete few sales and tickets and now we can't see any error over here i'll undo this we'll copy all the formulas from first to 31st control c or command c and we'll paste in takeaway as well as delivery so all the formulas got inserted we will come in right hand side target sales we will insert some random figures as 20000 we'll take this in center we'll drag this till end we'll make this bold total sales so what will be the total sales dine in sales plus takeaway sales plus delivery sales plus dine in sales plus takeaway sales plus delivery sales 
and we'll hit enter. We will insert a criteria over here. We'll go to formula bar. We'll take this in bracket and we'll insert the criteria of if. If bracket open dine in sales is equal to zero, comma, double inverted comma twice, comma, we will come to the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. The basic reason behind inserting the criteria of if in case there will be no sales, it will be showing blank. Now we will drag this till end. Total tickets plus dining tickets plus takeaway tickets plus delivery tickets. We'll take this in bracket and we'll insert the criteria of if. If bracket open sales is equal to double inverted comma twice means if the sales will be blank comma we want the cell as blank comma we will come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll drag this till end apc or apt plus or equal to bracket open sales divided by tickets bracket close over here also we will insert criteria of if if bracket open tickets is equal to double inverted comma twice means blank comma double inverted comma twice comma we will come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll remove the decimals we'll take this in center now we will drag this till end target versus achieved the formula will be plus or equal to achieved sales minus target over here we will insert criteria of if error if error bracket open we will come to the end comma double inverted comma twice we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll take this in center and we'll drag till end percentage we will select this we'll go to home and from here means from center we will select percentage and the formula will be plus or equal to sales achieved divided by sales target we'll hit enter we'll take this in center over here also we will insert criteria of if if bracket open sales target is equal to zero comma double inverted comma twice comma we will come to the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter now we will drag this till end so most of the formulas got inserted over here we will come to the left hand side and we'll go to our dashboard total days the formula will be plus or equal to count bracket open we will select from first to last date we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll select this and we'll take all the things in center currently it's showing 31 when the month will change means when we selected February, it's showing 28. When we will select March, it's showing 31. We will select Jan. Total Saturday. Formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open. We will select the range. Comma, double inverted comma, S A T means Saturday, double inverted comma close, bracket close and we will hit enter. Total Sunday, we will insert the same formula of count if plus or equal to count if bracket open. We will select this comma double inverted comma Sunday S U N double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. So in the month of January, there were four Saturday and five Sunday. When we will change the month February, four Saturday and four Sunday. We will keep it as Jan. Highest sale for the day plus or equal to max bracket open. We'll go to right hand side. We'll select the range. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So the total sale in a particular day for the whole month, it was this figure means 1,35,120. Lowest sale for the day in the whole month, the formula will be plus or equal to min means minimum bracket open we will select the sales we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter 
so the lowest sell in the whole month for a particular day was 10520 now we will insert rest of the formulas later on let's insert the formula over here for the totals yeah, i'll come down we'll make this bigger we'll delete one row from here delete i'll merge this this will be our total we'll increase the font size we'll put some color over here dine in sales plus or equal to sum bracket open we will select this we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll select this we'll take all the things in center and in mid we'll change the color we'll make it bold and we'll increase the font size now we will drag this till end total of apc is not required so i'll delete this from all three channels means from dine in delivery and take away we'll come to the right hand side we'll copy this and we'll paste over here means we want sum of target sales now we will drag this till end we'll delete total of apc we'll change color of this now we will insert our formulas over here sales till date formula will be plus or equal to we will come to right hand side and we will select total of the sales and we'll hit enter average sales the formula will be plus or equal to average bracket open we will come to right hand side we'll select total sales from first to last date of the month we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we'll remove the decimal places dine in sales the formula will be plus or equal to we will select total of dine in sales enter take away sales plus or equal to we will take total of take away sales means this figure enter delivery sales plus or equal to we will take total of delivery sales enter total sales it will be plus or equal to sum bracket open we will select all three channels we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter last year sales we will have to insert it manually i'll change the cell color and font color i'll take a random figure 75000 or 750000 enter growth the formula will be plus or equal to present minus past and we will hit enter we will insert percentage over here and the formula will be present minus past divided by past into 100 so we will do one thing we will select percentage from here and we will insert our formula plus or equal to present better we will take this in bracket is equal to bracket open present minus past bracket close divided by past we have selected percentage over here so we are not going to multiply by 100 so the formula will be present minus past divided by past enter so 6% there was a loss we will go in conditional formatting highlight cell rule greater than 0 so when it will be greater than 0 we want green color we'll do okay we will go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule less than 0 and we want red color we'll do okay so it got highlighted in red we'll select this conditional formatting highlight cell rule greater than 0 we want green color in positive values okay we'll go to conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule less than 0 we want negative values in red we'll do okay we'll put border over here currently the values are in negative so it's showing red i change some figure over here when the current year sales increased it got highlighted in green we'll undo this over here we have to insert formula for target achieved when the target will be achieved it will be showing yes when the target will not be achieved it will be showing no and it will be highlighted in green and red and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open will come to right hand side total sales is greater than sales target 
दिस इज करेंट इयर सेल्स टारगेट और करेंट मंथ सेल्स टारगेट कॉमा डबल इन्वर्टेड कॉमा यस डबल इन्वर्टेड कॉमा क्लोज वेन द टारगेट विल बी अचीव इट शुड बी शोइंग यस एंड वेन द टारगेट विल नॉट बी अचीव इट शुड बी शोइंग नो सो वी विल डू कॉमा डबल इन्वर्टेड कॉमा नो डबल इन्वर्टेड कॉमा क्लोज ब्रैकेट क्लोज एंड वी विल हिट एंटर वन थिंग टू मैंशन ओवर हियर डोंट बी कंफ्यूज दिस इज फॉर करेंट ईयर और करेंट मंथ एंड दिस इज फॉर लास्ट मंथ और लास्ट ईयर वी विल डू वन थिंग वी विल क्लिक ओवर हियर ऑन येस विल गो टू कंडीशनल फॉर्मैटिंग हाईलाइट सेल रूल इक्वल टू वी विल टाइप येस ओवर हियर एंड विल सेलेक्ट ग्रीन कलर ओके विल गो टू कंडीशनल फॉर्मैटिंग वंस अगेन हाईलाइट सेल रूल इक्वल टू दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू टाइप नो विल सेलेक्ट रेड कलर एंड विल डू ओके so when the target will not be achieved it will be showing no i'll change some figure from here earlier it was showing yes now it's showing no because sales target was not achieved sales target was for 620000 and the achievement was 331000 we will undo this so the dsr report for one month got created we will rename this as jan we will insert another sheet and this will be our home so we will click over here and we'll type months over here also we will type months we will select this and we'll paste it over here we'll make this bigger we'll make this bigger we'll select this and we'll change the color we'll do the same thing for this also we'll change the font color we'll make this bigger we'll take this in center and in mid we'll increase the font size we'll change the font style we'll give it a border we'll go in insert illustrations shape and we'll select a desired shape we'll make this bigger and we'll make it smaller we'll change the color we'll make it red and font as yellow we'll click on the shape we'll right click the mouse format shape will go in center and will give it a shadow we'll click on text options will go in center and will give shadow to text also this will be jan we'll take this in center and in mid we'll change the font style we'll make it bigger we'll press control and we'll drag it down we'll drag one more time and we'll make 7 Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. We'll close this. We'll press Control and we'll drag it. Now we will rename it. This will be Jan. This will be Feb. March. April. We'll press Control and we'll select all the shapes. Control C or Command C and we'll paste it over here. we'll take this up this will be august september october november and december we'll delete this this will be our consolidated we'll increase this we'll take it down and we'll change the color we'll take this closer we'll go to view show and we'll remove the grid lines Now we will come in our first sheet. Over here we have got button of home. We will click over here. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go to hyperlink this document, and we will select home. We'll do okay. Now whenever we will click on home, we will be diverted to the main page. I'll click over here on Jan. We'll right click the mouse, hyperlink, and from here I'll select Jan. We'll do okay. Now whenever I'll click on Jan. I'll be diverted to the sheet of January, and whenever I'll click on Home, I'll be diverted to the sheet of Home. I'll take this closer. I'll take this Home in the beginning, so our months will be over here. I'll click on the worksheet name. We'll right-click the mouse, move or copy, move to end, create a copy, and we will create such copies for all the months till December. Move or copy, move to end, create a copy. Let's rename this. 
it will be feb march april and will rename till december we will insert one more sheet for consolidated this will be consolidated let's go to home we'll click on february we'll right click the mouse hyperlink and we'll select feb from here okay march right click the mouse hyperlink we'll select march okay and in the same way we will connect all the sheets april right click the mouse hyperlink select april okay may right click the mouse hyperlink and select may okay and will connect consolidated also so all the sheets got interconnected we will change the month this will be december this will be november october september august july june may april march and february we'll click on home we'll click on september and we got diverted to the sheet of september home consolidated and we are in the sheet of consolidated we'll change this we'll remove daily and we'll type consolidated month is not required so we will delete this we'll delete date and day from here start date and end date is not required so we will delete this we'll delete this we'll delete this also now we will connect all the sheets so we will have to delete this we'll delete target sales also we'll click over here in dining sales plus or equal to we'll go in jan and we'll select the sale of the first day plus feb we'll select first day sales march and in the same way we will connect all the sheets together and we'll hit enter now we will drag this till end we'll delete apc or apt formula our formulas are sitting over here so we will drag it up in all the three channels now we will select this and we'll drag till end we will connect target sales also plus or equal to jan we will select the target sales plus feb and in the same way we will connect all the sheets and we'll hit enter now we will drag this till end so all the formulas got inserted we will update our formulas over here total days plus or equal to we'll go to jan we'll select total days plus feb we'll select total days from here and we'll select from march plus and we'll connect all the sheets together and we'll hit enter we'll copy the formula of days control c or command c and we'll paste it over here now we will drag this down so all the formulas got inserted and our dsr means daily sales report is ready now i'll click on home and in this way you can create your dsr or daily sales report for your company i'll provide link of this file in my description box in case you want to download you can i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye